Me? Me. Oh, yeah. Me. I do. I don't run my house. <gasps> well, when the guys are gone, I do, but we both run the house, I think. Definitely me. De- yeah, definitely me. Yeah. <laughs> we, so, uh, we both do, I think. He does some cooking, so. Oh, well, yeah. He does the cooking. Yeah. And he helps with the cleaning of the laundry. It's still wow. me. So we're moving into your house. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, it's kind of funny. Quentin and I have a conversation every night before he comes home, so the night before he comes home. And I'm like, listen, we've had 12 days with you gone. We got routine. We got schedule. The boys are going to bed. And he's like, okay, I'm fitting into your life. I'm going to come in and just fall into place, my life. (laughs) And then he comes home, and he sees the boys, and it's like, it's, he wants to be the yes dad and the play dad, and I just want to be the, the, the fun dad. And it's the first couple of days is chaotic. It is hard getting him back into our routine and into our schedule and stuff. And I, we find it tough. We find it tough the, very, the first couple of days to get him following my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get as much done when Leland's home. Yeah, it's that's not going to change. <laughs> <laughs> That'll stay the same. The yeah, only yeah. thing I have a hard time too, but the garbage. I just need you know after like the fourth day, if someone were there to take out the garbage, that helped me. Hate that. But I still sometimes <laughs> feel like I get more <laughs> done. But the dinners aren't as good. You know, we do quickie dinners, and right as this home, it's meat and potatoes. It's you know he's he does the cooking, so I, I let him. With two now, he helps with the cooking, but. Mm-hmm. That won't change when you have kids. Yeah. You'll still get Leland won't cook. Eggs. That's it. Oh, he cooks eggs. Eggs. Yeah. So if I ask him to cook dinner, <laughs> we have eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we Skype as much as we can um, when he's on the road. Um, obstacles would be <clears throat> where in the morning he would tell Hunter that he will pick him up from school when he's home but then finds out that, you know, something's come up and he has to go do a reading out of school, which he enjoys, but then there's the obstacle of Hunter being disappointed that Daddy's not there to pick him up. So there's always obstacles, I find, that we have to juggle with them being home and on the way. Or and we never get to quite do those, like, Dad, <clears throat> Father's Day mm-hmm. things or... Yeah. First day of school, there's the obstacle that he could be away or Quentin his first hockey game. Hunter's first hockey game because he's away. So there's a lot of obstacles. I mean, and that carries really through into anybody's mm-hmm. family life, whether you have children or not. I mean, your birthdays are not necessarily there. Christmas, they're not there. New Year's. So depending on the year and where they are, I mean, you're always juggling your identity and then your partnership and where they will be and where you will be at special times for you and your whole family. So, mm-hmm. you know, you never know. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, you just have to explain, like I explained. Mine are young, though, so the baby, he doesn't. He's like, Mommy, Mommy, that's great. But <laughs> when Daddy comes home, it's like, who's this guy? <laughs> but Emmy is like, I have to explain to her, and she really, really misses him a lot. So we do Skype, and she sings. He's taught her some songs in his language, and she sings those at night, and so she misses him a lot, and we, you know, talk about it, that she misses him, and he loves her, and he's working, and, you know, so. Like, today she thought she was coming yeah, home to play hockey. We're yeah, but he was saying he was yelling, Daddy, Daddy, I'm Daddy. Yeah. 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 You know, you just kind of got to take it day by day, and um, I don't really get too worked up about anything. It just, it is what it is, and you do what you got to do to get through, and. I think it's important. I think Amy's taught me a lot too. Like it's really important just to remember that he's making these sacrifices for the family, and I got to keep that in perspective sometimes. You know, yeah. obviously you can't get too worked up about yeah. them not yeah. being here for everything because yeah. he wants to be here. He yeah. just yeah. can't be. But if it was his choice, he would be at <laughs> everything. Yeah. 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 Right. But so it hurts them sometimes <laughs> more than it hurts us to miss the yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. And it's a payoff in the summer. Yes. yes. I mean, that's only the job that you, well, I guess besides teachers, teachers, that you get a few months off. So, I, yeah, I stayed in Abbotsford for the for a little while because I was just finishing up school, so I was still here. 
And then I kind of went back and forth between Calgary and my parents' house. And I would go visit him when he was there, and then I'd go back to my mom and dad's. And I moved in with mom and dad for a while, <laughs> you know. But uh, I have to stay here now because I can't travel anymore. So this is it. I'm here regardless of whether he's in Calgary or Abbotsford. I think now if something happened with Quinton, now that we have someone in school, we would stay put. I wouldn't uproot uh, Hunter from his hockey season and school for two months of the hockey season. Um, if it happened in the first couple months, there's probably more to, to consider and more to think about. Um, but I guess with, when I didn't have kids, yeah, I would have went, I think. I would have. And it's hard because they can never come visit you, so yeah. you always have to go to them. And when you have kids, that's like three plane tickets, not just one. And yeah. You can't just go whenever. No. Lots of bags. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and dogs. the season, too. I mean, I have two little ones. And this late in the season, it would be, how's our dog going to get all the way home? But we would probably, this late, go home. I don't know. Home, home, like your son. Home. Yeah, home, yeah. home. Home, home. Right. So, but if it happens earlier, you would go. You know, you just never know, especially with call-ups, and you don't ever know. Well, I think it's different without a family. I mean, for me, if my boyfriend is on the road and then goes up and then comes back, I mean, I don't see him when he's on the road, whether he's in Abbotsford or he's in Calgary. So when he's home, that's great. If he's going somewhere else and I can go, I'm going to go because there's nothing holding me back to go to, to not be with him and visit him. And I think that there's a lot of, um, you know, sacrifices they make to be gone, but there's a lot of sacrifices you make as well. So... Um, knowing that being together is really beneficial no matter where it is. I think if you can do that, that's great. And if you can't, then there's a great understanding of why, why, why you're not able to go. Yeah. Yeah. That, be, that being said, the one thing about them playing in the NHL that I really miss is televised games. Yeah. Because yeah. so you have that connection and you can turn on the TV and you don't have the urgency to go see them if you can see them on TV or you see, you know, what's going on or... A certain play or a fight or whatever, you have that connection when the games are televised. Mm -hmm. And even though we can pull them up on the internet, it's you know it's not you don't the care. same. It's it's great, number, but it's not yeah. the same. And you don't. <laughs> but yeah. it's easier to be away when the games are televised yes. for sure. Yeah. Agreed. Queen. 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 <laughs> Queen. Yeah, we've been the ruler of the castle, so. There's some give and take, right? But they walk back into the routine where we're, or what food's in the refrigerator? Is the laundry done? What is going on? And so it's kind of like the house is yours and the lifestyle's mm -hmm. theirs, and you kind of mesh them together because you want to be together. Yeah, when he's gone, I'm queen. When he's home, I'm queen. I'm queen. Always. Always. All the time. For that. Don't you forget that Quentin Lang. But not really. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Both. Both are. is really great with diapers. I mean, he, I'm like, did you change diaper? Yes, he's on it with the diapers. As long as it's just a pee diaper, Ben's fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> the other kind, we have issues. I'm usually the one changing the <laughs> light over it. No, it's just he won't even. Like, it's just Ben can't stand confrontation at all, and Berkeley doesn't like having his diaper change. So when it comes to those, it's me doing it. Otherwise, it's a mess. Then you're cleaning up anyway. gone for a while, he'll be on diaper duty. You yeah. think that, that it'll be like that, but really? No. Just depends yeah. on the guy, I guess. I don't know. Like, Berkeley yeah. just doesn't, like, the stage just, like, doesn't like the diaper change, so it's what a fight every night. Up at night? Yeah. Do you get up at, like, if they wake up at night and stuff? Um, we both, we both do. Berkeley's been sleeping through the night since he was a newborn. So oh, he does now. sleep in our bed. Actually, no, the last couple of weeks he's been sleeping in his little crib, but in our room. So <laughs> I try to get up, like, during the season, especially when there's games, so that Ben can rest. Yeah. No, that's that the one thing, right? Is we'll never like he hasn't gotten up once in like two. Years. In the summertime, Ben got up. He doesn't, but not during the summer. No, in the middle. That's you his thing. Do he doesn't get up and shove him out of the bed. Uh, no, no, he's a he Quentin sleeps. That's up. his thing. It's his sleep. I like my sleep too, but I get up at night, like when they're up. Yeah, because you have your whole day to be at home, right? They have to get up and go practice, and they yeah, have that's his stuff. So I don't really care if he does the cooking. I'm so happy. I'm a terrible cook. That's so why I think I don't care. But I 
I'd say Guillaume has like the same lunch, the same pregame meal. Yeah, two chicken breasts, two. brown Thank rice, you. smothered ranch. I don't know if it's like superstition <laughs> or if it's just routine. But I wouldn't yeah. say like I know for Leland, like yeah, if he doesn't get his regular pregame meal, it's not the end of the world. He's not going, yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna lose today. But Every you know, everything's different. gone wrong. Yeah. But yeah. He wants his regular And then the nap. The nap. And the nap. Yeah. It's like silence in the house. Yeah. Don't move. What do you do when he naps? I work. Yeah. So you yeah. stay home? Because mm-hmm. before Probably we had kids, I would just leave. I'd like go wherever, get out of the house. Mm-hmm. Before kids, Take a I would for nap while. too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I try to nap. I'm like, oh, you want to nap? Yay! And then that that's not I fun either. <laughs> See, ours nap while he naps, and then I try to nap too. I'm like, it's so quiet, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. But when I was, before kids, I would just leave or go, just mm-hmm. like get out or. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. Quentin before kids used to with his equipment put a left shin pad on right shin pad left elbow pad right elbow pad uh, left skate right skate and I think after having kids you know how it, like it, everything gets jumbled in your life you, so he just kind of dropped everything like he used to have a two and a half hour nap if he gets an hour and a half now he's lucky he would get I mean past the sauce that was more homemade with stuff cut up and now it's crack the prego, pour it on. So I think kids have really relaxed us and got rid of all superstition and routine Mm -hmm. in that aspect. I think with this lifestyle it can be difficult to have a career, but it's definitely like not impossible. Like I am a jewelry designer and a yoga instructor. I spend anywhere from three to nine hours a day designing or working. Um, I definitely get more done when he's not home, <laughs> uh, especially when he's on the road. I'll like work for hours and hours and hours. But um, yeah, and I'm, I'm not the only one. There's teachers on the team, interior yeah. designer, full-time moms. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you all do what you have to do to work. But mm-hmm. I think it's not even more so about as much about working as it is just kind of keeping your sanity, giving you something to do when they're not yeah. there. Obviously when you have kids, there's no lack of stuff to do, but when you yeah. don't, it's like you got to find something that you have that's yours for you to keep you busy. And, and something mm-hmm. that's outside of hockey. Yes. You know, I always I found, I don't, haven't worked in a while, but wherever writers would play, I would like to get jobs and work with the people that are from that city from that town because they know the city so well and they don't really care about hockey and it it's just a different it's nice to get outside of that sometimes because your whole life your whole schedule I mean if someone asks me when I can work or what I'm doing I pull the hockey schedule out that's how I plan my life October Mm -hmm. to April so Mm -hmm. when you're you're working they don't care about that hockey schedule and it's more it's totally it's nice to get outside of that a little and connect with the city that you're in.